about asking questions? Me too. So it's uh, the difficult up and down sort of season for you guys, you know, you coming in especially, you know, on the back of the super, we've spoken a lot about it. Um, how has this week been now, knowing that it's a one-off now? Yeah, it's different. Uh, you can feel the vibe in the camp is, is very positive. Uh, the Springboks, their attitude when they came back was just unreal. Mm. And it's almost like, uh, you know, you're getting it from the good youngsters, boosting the feeling and from the spring box. So the guys in the middle sort of that, where the campaigners in the season, they're playing better and reacting better. Mm. So we, 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 we're excited at this stage, Jacques. Are you consciously trying to keep it the same as in like you build on the success that you've had in the past? Or do you embrace the moment that it's a semi-final and therefore you need to sort of step it up? No, we really try and keep it uh, just as another game. Otherwise, you'd easily take your, your focus away from what you want to achieve. That's why it's nice having eight on the bench. Was that just a sudden decision from Saru, or how did that work suddenly? So just yeah, I, want to give credit, I want to give credit to Rudolf Strode, who said from the word go, we should have it like that, and that he would contact the other CEOs and, uh, and discuss the situation. Uh, so it's a very positive thing, you know, in the front row especially, that the boys, these are... Uh, what we had last year at the stage, uh, I can't remember what team it was, you know, where they really surprised us with, with non-contested team and uh, scrums and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's a good thing. It's, just a, it's for me a safety thing. Mm. So it's good. It's positive for rugby. So it's, I suppose, an easy decision to start Malcolm this week, having played off the bench last week? Yeah, no, look, he's a... Uh, He's a just a real player, and it's it's nice to have him around again, and he inspires the guys around him. Are you confident that he's had enough time to train with a guy like Marvin and, and so on to get those lineups working? Perfectly? Yes, yeah, no. I just spoke to Jock. Now I, we, I was busy with JP with the backs, and, and now that the lineups going, he was very positive. So, uh, yeah, uh, it looks like everything is in is in is in order. Okay. So he's going to go down to Newlands to go and. And, and try and win there, you know, how do you sort of handle the whole thing of of it being a away game, and especially at a, at a ground where the Lions journey didn't have, they haven't had that much of success as yet? Yeah, it's a good question, Christo. Uh, you know, what we try really to try and install for this group as well, especially for, uh, for next year, uh, it doesn't matter between those four white lines, you, you know, it doesn't matter where you play. And I remember after we beating the Chiefs a while back, we did say that's now one thing we've learned to win away. And, uh, and uh, the big thing is that we, Yannick Mitter had a nice session with us as well. He's doing a marvelous job and, and uh, he was focusing with the players to focus on the job at hand. And not, you know, outside interferences and stuff like that. So it's contrary to popular belief that the Lions has thrown the ball around your forward play has been extremely good. Uh, do you feel that uh, going down to Newlands, dominating up front will be the way to go? Yeah, look, uh, we'll just do what we do. We can only play our brand if the forwards do their work. If that'll answer your question. And they, and, and I must say, the last two games especially, they did up their work. Yeah, and uh, Victor coming in, you know, and helping out with the lineups, how's that going? Oh, I think he's, uh, he's a, everyone knows he's an absolute master in the lineouts. He played 127 tests, so uh, the knowledge is there. But uh, the players still got to do it. Eh? He can't go on the field. But I've got full belief that they will. Okay, but, but I actually, in the week, spoke to a guy like Ray Mort, and he, he sort of said to me, he said he feels the four coaches are going to be playing a vital role this, this weekend. He says, with the matches so evenly poised, Tactically, how, how the game is going to be played out could be a, a big determining factor as to who wins. Well, what would you say to that? No, let's keep the pressure on the players. <laughs> <laughs> we just watch the game and enjoy it. No, no, obviously it will be, they, they, it's vital when you do what and, and, and try and make the right calls. Uh, you know, that, uh, yeah. that's vital. But at the end of the day, they between the four white lines, so... Uh, uh, We'll give them instructions to help, but uh, I don't really want to go too deep into that one, Krista. Yeah. Uh, Jacques, uh, last time promised you the uh, scrum time, they gave you guys a bit of headache, once or twice a day. Um, how do you 
achieve this time going? <laughs> yeah, we worked hard the last couple of weeks on our set pieces, scrums and that. Um, so yeah, we're ready. Uh, we're ready for the for the challenge on the weekend. So yeah. And Jacques, from your side, Newlands, you would have played there a number of times. How difficult is it and you know compared to other away venues? Yeah, um, I think like Coach Way said, uh, we're just going there trying to to play the game and do what we want to do, achieve our goals, uh, get over the game line, and the rest will look after itself. Um, so we don't really want to concentrate on it's a difficult venue and all that. We just want to go and play and do what we do. Coach, um, how different would you say from a coach's perspective if your team uh, when you still walks up back into the team? Is it as you were or do you have to change a couple of things in the start and sending them out for a second? Sorry, I missed the last section. Is it the same as when they are not in the team that still walks up? Yeah, yeah I, can, I, can, I promise you, uh, uh, firstly that's why they scream box. When they come back, they do make a massive impact. I've seen with teams in the past, uh, where I was involved with a few years back, that when the Springboks come back, some of them are not always, and I don't, don't want to go deep into that, you know, the Springboks come back, it's not always a case of that they're going to do it and win the game for you. It's still a team. If you're a Springbok, if you're Len Massain who's 20 years old, it, it doesn't matter. But they do make an impact, and, uh, and, and uh, especially our bunch of guys, they're very humble. They know it's about the team first. Uh, they're, not play, they're wearing a Lions jersey, not a Springbok jersey at the moment. They proud Springboks when they represent the country, but now they they all know they're representing the Lions. John, and from a player's point of view, do you guys feel like we have to up the ante a little bit when the box are back? Um, we've got a culture where we say when the Springboks come back, they have to up it <laughs> to get to our level of training. So, so hopefully, hopefully we achieve that. So, if in Western Province have some of the best attacker completion percentages. Uh, my question to you though is how do they transition? How do they go from you know being a very good defensive side transitioning into attacking? How do you rate them there? I think they've made a huge step up in that area. Um, and in the first pool game down in Newlands of the Curry Cup, they they really put us um, to the sword in that. So they have very dangerous counter uh, counter attack side, even turnover side. You know, um, so they try and put you under that defensive pressure. Um, that everybody actually tries and, and, and you know, tries to, to do that. Um, it's just how well they do it um, and how well they keep their width. You know? So um, they work hard for one another. Um, they, really, they really put emphasis on tackling that tackler or the, the ball carrier and putting him behind the game line. You know? So um, it's a game of inches this weekend. So uh, you know, we, we really got to step it up but um, excited. Uh, JP, there's the general perception from some critics about the Curry Cup that it's quite loose, that, that defences aren't necessarily all that tight. Um, and the, I think the tackle, tackle completion rate hovers around 81 and 85%. Um, is that perhaps just a bit of an unfair perception? Is the game just becoming more attacking and attacking mindsets just being much better that it is difficult to maintain a, Completion rate of in the ninety percent. Yeah, for sure. I think a simple example. I think uh, the South African culture is changing. Um, everybody is throwing the ball around, um, keeping their width on on an attack. So it makes it difficult for the defensive side. I think the other thing is is more emphasis on the defensive side. So the refs are very inclined, and the ARs are very inclined to pin the defensive guys more than what they do the attacking side. So yes, there is definitely more freedom. Um, it makes my, my job a little bit harder, um, but you know, in saying that, we take pride in our tackles, we take pride in our tackle completion, we take pride in our defence. So this weekend, Newlands, uh, not, not a ground that you're going to score 50 points against, against them. You, know? I mean, you saw the test match, it was close, it's not a 50-40 game. You know? So um, we're looking forward to the challenge, but yeah, um, you know, they do throw the ball around, so we've got to... We've got to you must be quite encouraged how you guys have improved. I mean, it, it was a bit loose at the start of the season, but as they became continuity, and I remember a few weeks back here against Western Province, ironically, you guys defended really well. So you must be very encouraged by how, how those stats have improved gradually throughout the season. No, for sure. And I think the other thing is, is um, the, boys are, the boys are stepping it up. You know, I've got, I've got the sense of, of uh, you know, this building phase going up to playoffs, um, is really they, 
they're going on that upward curve. So for, for me, that's awesome. Um, and you know, you try and you try and ignite it from the side of the field. But as Coach Sway said, you know, it's them on the field, and they've got to really care for one another, and that's how they how they show it. Just, just from my side on, the, on that thing, uh, the star, if you play attacking brand of rugby and you throw it from, try and attack from all over, it, 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 it makes it very tough for the defence coach. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, from five years ago, we started working together. I do the attack and JP the defence. And, and I must say, it's brilliant that he bought into that system that if you go in a defensive mode and you can't attack because you're scared, <laughs> what if we must defend? Then I feel you you're getting behind in world rugby again. Coach um Yampo Yampo's been playing 10, 15 throughout the season. Now he's he's looking good at 10. Uh, do you feel like he's a type of player out that can win those type games? Yeah, look, he's a, he's, a, he's a tough, good physical player. He, he's he's always good in the in the in the big games. You know, he's done very well in the Curry Cup final we had. Uh, so playing him 10 or 12, uh, he, he does his job for the team and, and, he, and, and he's, he's, I must say the last two weeks he's, he's looking very good. So he's talking about attacking threats, I know you're not looking at individuals, but the Robert Lefler has been playing expert lately. Uh, so what's your opinion of this? Yeah, they, they, apart from Robert, who's a, who's a good game breaker and a good player, they've got a few, you know, uh, at the back line, especially a few blind breakers, and we've got to watch them the whole time. So it's one of the things that didn't go well last week was the line-out. Uh, was, uh, were you able to identify what went wrong and were you able to fix it? Yeah, uh, speaking to Victor, it was just a bit of a, you know, system things and a bit of communication, especially when Malcolm came back from the box. There was not the, 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 verhouding, the, the understanding was maybe just not there. And, and then credit to Free State, you know, they defended the, the line-out very well. So it, the, the sword does go both ways, but it's nothing, it's nothing, it was nothing serious. Uh, so I suppose one of the interesting battles will be Hugh Jones and Ruan, particularly because they had very much the same type of seasons. They became internationals last season, were expected to play, take Super Rugby by storm, got injured, now they have to sort of like make up for lost <laughs> time. Yeah, it will be a battle, but you know, the last thing we want to focus is on individual battles. As soon as you go that mind, you lose the plot. So. Uh, We'll stick to what we do and play them and, and, and in fact I don't think it's important who's in front of Ruan, you know, we'll, uh, we'll play his game. Well, this is an Afrikaans. I think you're going to have to do it for your span on Saturday to be what you want to do. But the whole thing is that we have to do it more than we have to do it. It's just on the end of the day. But it's also a strong player, it's for a Thais game. So, that gaan dus echt recht op dit blije, dit blije game van die aardkering. En die, en die, en die span wat die hongerste is, wat die die graagste wil hee, is gewoon dat die span wat die ook komt. So, ons allemaal moet kyk, saterdag, wie wil die graagste hee. Ik zal ek het back to Jakob van die raad gaan, want, although ik kiek very well die last week, the Lions were, hoe moet ik het woord, bitten in die Kijker van 2014 down there, where they certainly had all the opportunity to win the game, but the goal kicking let them down. Is he going to be exposed to more practice at the US because the, it's a unique venue, isn't it? Yeah, no, we, this time around we're going early. We'll have enough time to practice at, uh, on a Friday afternoon at Newlands. Okay, any more questions? So, so as by the time your game kicks off, do you, you know if you still can play for maybe our final? How much? Will we, we did discuss that. I th it, yeah, it's a reality, but we will not bring that down to the team. Because we want them to focus on their job and not not the weekend or not the weekend, you know. So, uh, but we surely we will we will know exactly what the situation is, is and we'll we'll handle it from there. So, maybe next week you can talk about the what for you are the most important things we have to do 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 I think that's the rest of ourselves. So, yeah. And then, obviously, defense is better than the outspeel wedstrijd. And so, defense is good. Is, and you can all under druk sit and the turnovers make and so. But then, JP is small and high fives are ideal. So, yeah. <laughs> well, okay, James. How many times have you been in the last few years of Super Rugby and Clary Beck and the other outspeel wedstrijd? And so, and this is all the time for you to come. Van andere ouders en gesteld en weer bijtjes en ouders niet. Het van andere niet maar. En die achterkomt. Is dat ook zoiets wat dan net zo'n beetje anders te voelen? 
want je weet al, wil je een punt gaan goed genoeg wees om te winnen, je hoeft die 4 3 te druk en al je gestaat, so dan is het so. Van ander is een gesteldheid so'n beetje. Ja, nee, ek denk nie so'n die Christen, ek denk jy een gesteldheid van ander as jy, as jy dink aan die final, mm -hmm. um, ek denk jy een gesteld van ander as jy dink aan die trofee, um, vir ons is dit net nog een game, dus soos ek vir die week gesê het, dit is, dit is 80 minute of 100 minute, van ons uitspeel, dan is het dalk een minuut wat jy aan dink of, maar het gaan rarig na die millisekondes toe, wat win jy elke millisekond, verstaan het, om, om een verskil te maak, en ek denk, ek denk dis die groot, en on, um, ons ouwens geer rarig om vir mekaar, um, en ek weet, as het, as het uitkom in die naweek, dan gaan het goed op, 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 op die verdediging, so, so die ouwens is, um, is lus, honger, hulle weet wat om te doen, elke minuut, elke oomlik, so, um, dit verander nie hoe ons dink en hoe ons proces moet wees nie. Dit is, dit is net nog een game. Thanks everyone.